I see we have chats going on before I even get here, you guys on YouTube. How is everybody? Hi, Diana. Coffee and peanut butter sandwich. Hi, Julie. Hi, Latoya. I'm reading the chat. Good morning. Good evening. Hope all of you guys are having a good day. I'm good. I'm going to get my hair bow, you know, because i got to put my hair up for this because we're going to make lotion. All right, I'm going to get my hair put up. Good afternoon. All right, hair is now in a bun. So, nothing can go anywhere. Okay, so, um, I, before I move over and we start the process, I'm going to go over the recipe with you guys and what I come up with and the reason I did what I did. So, let me grab my recipe. I read that you're not making anything and you have a ponytail. <laughs> I generally always have a ponytail, but I try to, um... Put my hair, that's a wayward one right there. Uh, I try to put my hair up, you know, when I'm working. Okay, so we decided last week to make a face cream recipe. And so I did some research uh, and tried to decide on what I would want in my face cream. Researched oils that were good for the skin and their properties. Because like we told, like I told you guys before, we decided to use the normal summertime recipe, but redo the oils that are used to be oils that are good for the face. So this is what I have come up with. Uh, the recipe has changed just a little bit. And then as soon as I get done with the live, I will post the exact recipe um, on YouTube under the description. I will post the recipe that we're using today. So it's going to be 71% water. We're going to use one and a half percent rose hip extract. Now that is um, something that is water soluble. So it will be added. That is essentially being added to our water phase, but it is heat sensitive in my opinion. So I'm not going to add it until we would add the preservative at the end. So, and then we are going to do 20% oils, 5% emulsifying wax, half a percent preservative, 2% fragrance if you want fragrance, uh, which gives us our 100%. Now, the 20% oils that I'm using is going to be 10% coconut oil, 5% argon oil, and 5% jojoba oil. Now, I even went and printed, like, wrote down my oils and wrote out the benefits so I could go over them with you guys and tell you why I picked what I picked. So, for coconut oil, now, this is done, this is just my research that I uh, found online, um, and this is some information that I've gathered and I'm just going to pass this along to you guys. You guys can do the exact same recipe or you can do your own research and change the recipe. But I'm going to tell you guys what I have found. And this is why I picked the oils and the rosehip um, oil that we're using. So for coconut oil, it's chock full of vitamin E. Uh, it can be used as a traditional moisturizer just directly on the skin. Uh, and it's full of fatty acids. Uh, and because of that, it acts as a barrier on the skin, keeping moisture locked in. It's naturally antibacterial, antifungal, that, that helps protect your skin and hair from elements, uh, especially during the winter months. And then, of course, you know it smells good. So that is one of the reasons. That's why I picked coconut oil. Because I see, I've seen tons of people online uh, and just in general that they just use straight coconut oil on their face. So I thought that would be a great oil to add in our face cream. 
Now, argon oil. It is also packed with vitamin E, antioxidants, and fatty acids. It's light enough that it can be used every day, so it's a non-greasy moisturizer. It can also be used to treat people with uh, skin conditions uh, like rosacea, eczema, things like that. Of course, we can't uh, put that on our label, but it is proven and known that it helps with those. Um, so, and it says thanks to its antioxidant properties, argon oil helps improve the skin's elasticity. Um, it also uh, is not just for dry skin. It helps control oil production. So it helps to reduce the sebum for oilier skin. Um, it can be used, it's an oil that you can use daily directly on your skin. Now, I'm talking about just the oil itself, not putting this in a lotion. Um, but doing my research and finding out how good these oils are in of their self on their own is the reason that I've decided to add them in my lotion. Uh, it said it, it says that you can also use it on your hair and on your nails. So that's a plus too. So we're going to do argon oil and we're going to do only 5% because we only need 20% total oils. And I decided to go with three. And, um, you know, so I, and I felt like coconut oil is very widely used. So I did, you know, 10% and then two, five and five. Okay. So then the last oil is not technically, it's not really an oil, um, but jojoba oil, it's very similar to our skin's natural structure. Um, it can replicate, um, or dissolve oil depending if your skin overproduces or underproduces, um, jojoba oil helps like fix that. It, it's, it's kind of like, um, it, it's a pretty awesome oil. Um, so it can help balance the sebum production and eliminate acne, uh, is what I have learned. Um, uh, it, it's actually, you know, a natural wax. Um, so it has beneficial minerals and nutrients, um, and that it also works as an emollient to soothe the skin and help provide moisture all day. So those are the reasons that I picked those three oils to go in our face cream. Now, let's talk about rosehip oil slash rosehip extract. We are doing an extract, and all that is, um, you can also make your own extracts using distilled water in the actual plant, just like we do um, infused oils. You can infuse water as well and use the infused water in your lotion if you want to go even that much further. But rosehip oil is rich in fatty acids. That is a big thing around, you know, with when you're looking at these. Uh, it contains vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin D, and beta carotene. It is chock full of good stuff. It helps protect and hydrate the skin, uh, fight the free radical damage, reduce wrinkles. Um, it says, but that's not all. It says the vitamins and antioxidants rejuvenate the skin to help restore elasticity, helps correct dark spots and helps reduce the appearance of scars. Now, because it's considered a dry oil, rosehip seed, it soaks easily into the skin. It can be used in conjunction with other oils um, as an intensive moisturizing anti-aging treatment. So that's why we're only doing one and a half percent here. Um, so, and like I said, this is not going into our oil portion. This is going to be going into our water phase, our water portion of this. But I don't want to kill any of the great benefic benefits of it by heating it up. So we're going to add it this very small one and a half percent when we do our um, preservative at the end. So, um, yeah, that is the information that I... I did research on and I gathered and why we're doing what we're doing. Hi. 
All right, so I've already done a small 16 ounce formula uh, earlier. So we could, of course, finish it on screen. And then um, we're going to make it again. And then, um, of course, you know, I will package it later. So I'm going to move you guys over to my table where we normally work. And we're going to get going. All right. You're very welcome. I am happy to help any way that I can. Sometimes it just, you know, I have to do a bit of research. All right. Get my chair over here. I need my scale. I've got everything out and ready because I've done this once already. I'm going to turn my water on and add a little bit more water. Like last time we did lotion, um, I'm just going to heat up my water. I'm going to have more in there than is needed. That way I know I have enough. I'm not really weighing this part. There is some um, water left in here from the last batch that I made earlier today. So it's just adding a little bit more. So in my pot that we're going to put over on the heat, is going to be our oils and our e-wax. So here's the rose hip oil. You can see it's very dark in color. We carry this here at the shop. You don't need a lot. It's just like a for the 16 ounce recipe, we're just using a quarter ounce for 16 ounce. Now, I am going to package this into four ounce like jars uh, because I always feel like when you get fancy face creams, they're always in like a pot or a jar. And I feel like somewhere between two to four ounces is a really good point for a, a face cream. It's not too much. It's not too little. Um, so if you have something that's between two to four ounces jar, I think that would be great. All right. So I'm going to do 1.6 ounces of coconut oil. I got this out earlier because it was in my great big bucket and I didn't want to try digging it out. Hopefully I've got enough. I think I do. Yeah. Just a little bit more. A little bit too much. Okay, 1.6. Perfect. Well, I'm just going to keep that spoon in there. All right. Uh, I'm looking at my recipe right here. 1.6 ounces of coconut oil, 0.8 ounces of argan oil. Tiny bit more. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could, I mean, I have some one ounce jars, but I was looking at, I literally was looking at them this morning and I just felt like one ounces was such a tiny amount. Yes, it's only for the skin. Um, if you want to do a one ounce jar, that's perfectly fine. You can do a one ounce jar. Um, I just don't feel like that's very much, um, and it would go pretty quickly. I, I think somewhere between two to four ounces would be good. All right, we're doing 0.8 ounces of jojoba oil as well. Now we're going to do our emulsifying wax, which is also 0.8 ounces, because these are all half a 5% um, of our recipe. Yeah, one ounce, I mean, like, I can show you guys a one ounce jar. Okay. All right, so that's all that I need in here. I'm going to put this over on the heat. 
get this turned on. Got this around set on three, roughly. Water's on about four. Yeah, I, I, two ounces is pretty good. Um, I don't have like a, um, a two ounce little pot, little jar. Um, so that's why I'm going to do four ounces, which, you know, you just would have to charge more. Let me show you guys the four ounce. So this little jar, this is four ounces. It's, I mean, not very big. That's, that's the four. I know you guys all have seen a four ounce jar. Let me go grab the one ounce, um, and we can compare. Okay. So here is a little tiny. This is one ounce. Little, little teeny tiny. I mean, like, I mean, I just feel like that's super small. Um, like, you know, I can completely fist it. That's 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 a tiny amount. Um Yeah, I think I think this is tiny for a customer to look at that and be like, uh, you know, what's the point? So I think somewhere a four ounce, I probably I probably would not go any bigger than a four ounce. Um, that's probably the biggest I would go, but I, I just feel like this is too small. So somewhere between two to four ounces is probably what I would shoot for. Um, I need to get. Um, no, I don't need, I have a, okay, I think I'm good. Let me go grab the, what I used, the four ounce jar at the one ounce price. Eye serums may be better. I, I agree, yeah, I think something very specific or like if you did a lip oil or something, you know, specific, yeah, something, you know, that would be fine for them, something that small. But when you're doing your whole face, because, like, when you guys moisturize your face, you do your neck, too, right? I mean, I do. So, like, you're moisturizing your face, you're doing your neck, around your ears, you know. So, it's not just, like, this little tiny spot. So, I, I, I'm going to go with this. All right, let me grab what I made earlier. I'm going to turn this water down. She's already starting to steam. Make sure everybody is at a good temperature. Okay, so I made this earlier. 16 ounce recipe. Oh, I've got my spatula. Yeah, see, exactly. Yeah, you do your face, your neck, you know. You, I mean, you just rub it all in. So that little tiny one ounce jar gonna last somebody what not even a week so yeah all right so this is i'm gonna check my temperature on this get it kind of mixed up oh yeah it's good it's at like 90 degrees so we you know we're, we're we know we're good for adding preservative, we're going to add the rose hip. And I need to pick a fragrance. What do you guys think that Bee Scented Carries would be a good... You guys give me some ideas for face cream. I feel like it needs to be a light scent. What do you guys think? Oh, did you see me just splatter that? Need to be a little careful here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and add in our fragrance. I'm going to add in the rose hip. And then I'm going to grab, or I'm going to add our preservative. 
energy would be good. That's very nice. You're at a loss for the fragrance. You could always leave it unscented. Um, so let's see. Preservative, you need a very small amount, like 0.05 ounces for your preservative on this small batch. Just a teeny bit. Now we're going to do a rosehip oil extract. I'm using the extract. And it's a quarter of an ounce. Love spell. Yeah, yeah, you guys are good, good ideas. Okay, got it. Pink sands. Pink sands, it may be strong, but some people may like that. The rose hip has a really nice scent, too. It's got a really nice scent. You're over the lavender. <laughs> it's okay. Peach. Oh, my goodness. Peach would be fantastic. So, since this is sort of for myself and for testing, uh, I think I'm going to do the peach. I love peach. I mean, the rose hip gives it a very nice, very, very faint scent. But I'm going to go grab peach. And you guys hang out for just a second. Okay, so I've got like this big old bottle of Georgia peach. So we're going to do that. I think peach is a great. Oh, it's fantastic. Yes, you guys were spot on with that. So we're going to do like 0.35 ounces of fragrance. You can do lower if you want it to be a very light scent. Or you can just pick a fragrance that is a light scent. And then, of course, you can also make it unscented. You could have a couple of versions. All right. Just slowly get this stirred in. And then I, of course, am going to send some of this to my sister. Send some of this to my sister-in-law. And have them test this out for me. Because this is a new recipe. I know the lotion is fine um, itself. But we are doing something new, something specific. Uh, the measurement for the rose hip was quarter of an ounce. It's one and a half percent of your recipe. It's very minimal. I added it at the end because I didn't want to kill anything, any of its wonderful properties with the heat. So we added it with the fragrance and with our preservative. And the rose hip has give this a very, um, I don't think it's going to pick it up here, but a very, very light pale color. I mean, like, you know, lighten this way up. Uh, it's a very, very creamy color. There are other extracts uh, that you can use. We have aloe extract, guys. Uh, you could even um, split, do, you could change, do 70% water and do 1% aloe extract and one and a half uh, rosehip extract. We also have cucumber extract. Um, you can take, you know, um, do 69% 
water and then like one percent each of the extracts if you want to even go that way extra mile making this there's options guys extracts are fantastic you guys all know how wonderful aloe is for the skin or you can make different face creams uh and and promote them for different things you know you can do like oh well this is aloe and cucumber face cream or this is a rose hip face cream you guys get my drift there you know on like what you can do advertising to to promote your product is it a heavy greasy no it is not there is only 10 percent coconut oil um and coconut oil um is not overly greasy once you get it into a lotion it's not like um i'm gonna i'll put some on my face before we're done so let me check on this back here okay let me um jar this up um i should get four jars it just depends on if i can get it all completely out i should get roughly four jars if i don't miss it's a very luxurious creamy Okay, there's four ounces. You're fine. But I will use this uh, on my face before we get off. If you guys test it and try it out, please let me know what you think. It's very... Uh, it reminds me of the face creams, you know, like, it's not heavy, it's not super thick. There's four ounces. Now, I, I probably don't need to be super precise measuring these since I'm going to be giving these away. But, you know. I just want to see if I do get four jars. Almost. Little over. I know I kind of can't really go over. I won't have enough. Waiting on jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is fantastic. I know I didn't post the recipe sooner. But I did a lot of research and I wanted to go over everything with you guys. Why I was doing what I was doing. Hold on just a second. Okay. Now I'd say if I was able to get all of this completely scraped out. I would have my full four jars. Let's see. Yeah, it's like at three or three point nine five. <laughs> so close <laughs> and it you know and i may have filled another one up a tiny bit hair more than another whatever but that's okay we got it this one will be mine it's so close you haven't worked with jojoba oil i have worked with jojoba oil for a long time i absolutely love it 
Since I'm going to make the exact same thing again, I'm just going to use this jar or, you know, to pour what's back here. Let me grab some lids. We're going to put some lids on these. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm really excited. I've never made a face cream and you guys were like, hey, we need to do this. So here's my little jar. It feels wonderful. Now I have glasses. I cannot see without my glasses. It smells really good. Oh, it feels fantastic. All right. Getting it all rubbed in. And then I will come closer to the camera. So you guys can see my skin. Got a glob of it under that eye. There we go. Now I can see again. <laughs> it feels fantastic. Okay. Let me put my lid on my jar so I don't mess it up. I'm going to come closer and then we're going to mix. You guys see my skin? It does not look oily. The lotion rubbed in really nicely. Does not feel oily at all. Yeah. I like it. Very nice. Very nice. But it is different than the normal lotion we make. I really got it caked on the, uh, my, my eyelashes. Oh, yeah, I like it. Let's check, everybody. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat off. Does it feel heavy? No. Let's Let me let it sit on here for a few minutes. Like, you know, um, you know how, like, when lotion dries on your skin? You know, sometimes you kind of feel like you gotta, you know, break it. Um, can you come live? You sure can. You sure can. <laughs> but yeah, I don't feel that yet. I actually don't really feel like I have lotion on my face. Let's give it a few minutes. All right. So this is our oil. I see it's steaming. I'm trying to go really slow. Like I said, where I have making the exact same thing. I'm not worried about cross-contamination right here. I'm going to do the same uh, fragrance. All right, let me turn this on. And we're going to do our uh, water. Yeah, I can't feel like I have had any, I put any lotion on my face. I can't tell at all. It feels really good, guys. I can't, I don't feel no grease. Not tacky. All right. So I need like 11.35, 11.4 ounces of water. Magic is happening.
Perfect. All right, now I'm going to just turn this off and get my emulsor, my blender, my stick blender, and we'll use this. I need to read your comments. All right, let's see. The adventures of making products, right? With Jen, you're a fan, girl. You guys are so funny. Good moisture. I don't, I don't wear makeup. What do you guys look for in a lotion that you wear under your makeup? Can you guys let me know? Because I don't wear makeup. Okay. That's good on that. Nice steam coming. I'll give myself a facial. <laughs> With the steam. Okay. Now, of course, this needs to now cool down back to room temperature or very close to it i think when i i think it was like 189 roughly or 89 degrees roughly when i did uh added the others the extract and preservative and fragrance to the uh, to the one we just did you don't wear makeup either i i don't i haven't worn like I've worn makeup, don't get me wrong, um, but, like, I don't wear makeup. <laughs> I don't. I just, I don't know. I feel like my time can be spent better doing other things than makeup. You mean you don't wear makeup, but when you do, you're a new person? You're funny. You guys are hilarious. So here's the lotion we just made. Um, usually don't put a lotion under. It it is light. I it is. Um, I can't tell that I have lotion on at all. Um, I'm really bad for not moisturizing my face like I should. So maybe taking this home and putting it, you know, on my counter will make me do that. Um, it feels really good, guys. I, I hope you guys try it. Uh, we carry the rosehip oil. We carry the jojoba oil. Uh, I, I don't I have to. Do we have any argan oil over there, Eric? I'd have to look. I'm not sure if we have any argan oil or not. Um, we carry, of course, the emulsifying wax. We carry the preservative, fragrance. Um, so, you know, you guys can get, like, about everything, you know, to make this, you know, from us. Do we carry vitamin C? We don't. We, that is another thing you could add at the very end. Your skin's a bit drier. I agree. Mine is too. I noticed the other day that I need to moisturize my hands more. No vitamin C. We don't carry that. But yeah, that is something you could add. Very small amount. I mean, like half a percent. It doesn't have to be a lot at the end. Like we added this. Uh, you probably could even back this off to 1%. Um, but when I was doing, um, my formula and I used half a percent for the preservative, you know, I put the other half a percent right here. So that's why, uh, it's one and a half percent versus one percent, or I probably would have just done it at one percent, but so this one's mine that I'm going to take home. I'm going to label these obviously, and then give them away. Uh, for people to test for me, um, because I want others' opinions besides myself, because I feel like us as makers, we sometimes can be, um, I don't want to say, 
uh, I don't, I don't know the right word. I feel like sometimes we're like, oh, we love what we've made, you know, and then other people may not be. So I want other people to test this. If you guys make this, please let me know um, in the comment of this video because it will stay on YouTube forever. Or uh, message us on Facebook. Post in the Facebook group and say, hey, I made Jen's new face cream and this is my thoughts. Yeah, so many different uh, skin types. And yes, we are all hard on ourselves. <laughs> you are correct. Uh, so when I finish and I add this recipe in the description, I will also add this information that I gathered while uh, researching. So you guys can have that information as well. Um, if you like, if you list it and you put it on your website or whatever, you can post information that is easily gathered on the internet. You just can't say on here that this is anti-aging. This is anti-wrinkle. You know, you can't, you can't do that. It's a moisturizer. It's a lotion. That's all we can say. It's a face cream. All right, guys. So that's it um, for this video. It was very easy um, for us to do this, obviously. I was really excited. I'm glad we did this. Um, what do you guys think about next week? We can do a packing video again, um, or we can make something else. What do you guys think? And those of you that have missed uh, this video, don't worry. You can watch us later and redo it. Um, you can also take the oils directly that we have used in here. And you can make a face oil. I mean, have you guys seen the people that use just the oil directly on their skin? You can make, like, if you get fractured, I think it's called, I think that's how you say it, the coconut oil, the 96 degree coconut oil, you know, that stays liquid. Um, you can use it. Um, or you can, of course, make like a slurry, but like you can make a face oil, a foot scrub. Uh, yeah, we've done salves, Doris. We have already done salves. Packing video is good. A scrub. Cuticle oil. Oh, I, I have a recipe for cuticle oil. I have a recipe for that, guys. That's easy. I can easily do that. And it's one that I use myself. I have a cuticle oil recipe. I'm terrible for... Um, I don't take good care of my nails. Yeah, uh, Doris, we actually just did one a few weeks ago on the YouTube channel. So just check back at my lives um, and you'll see where we've done salve. We could do cuticle oil. We could definitely do that. Okay, guys. So next week we will shoot for cuticle oil because I already have a recipe and I have used it. I know how it works. So we could definitely do that. Um, and I'm going to close this live and then get all of this information on the live for you guys. I, so thank you guys all for being here. I appreciate you guys every week. I hope you guys are enjoying our weekly lives. Um, I feel like we, um, we've not missed one since, what, the new year? Has it been since the new year? We, we have not missed the live. We have went live every Thursday at 1 p.m., so I am enjoying this very much. All right, guys. So that's it. I'll talk to all of you guys later. Thank you so much for being here. And please post and let me know what you think if you make this face cream. Bye.